Hi friends, I'm Olga Kirch and welcome to my studio. Today we are gonna paint a white vintage rose. I know painting white flowers are already a trick or treat <laughs> for whom how and I will show you some uh, lovely details and the very important thing I will show you my process, how I work with references. Because it's not enough just to take a picture and paint something from the picture. Sometimes you need some more movements around this and I will show you exactly my steps, how I'm doing this. Let's start. Pixabay, it offers royalty-free beautiful pictures and has a great choice of stunning things. Um, let's... what are we looking for? Rose stems. First of all, I would like to find a shape of rose on a stem. This one could be nice, so I open this picture. Uh, press with the left button, copy image. I already have an open document uh, in Photoshop. I just um, copy this picture here and go back. Oh, this one I like even better. It has a beautiful curve. So I will probably take this one as well. Copy image, go back to Photoshop. Instead of Photoshop, you could use any document where you prefer um, to Put pictures it's uh, very convenient if you could uh, arrange pictures in the same document so you could see all of them nicely so now I'm typing white rose because now I will concentrate on the color schemes inside the rose this one is a little bit um, dull this one is nice I like that the middle has very nicely pink shades so I copy image Go to our document, place it here, go back. Um, just in case, I would like to have something um, extra. It's important uh, to concentrate and try to find right pictures on the first three, four pages. Otherwise, you will spend a day looking for perfect references, which is not really necessary. This one, how petals goes, and this is, will be it for now. So now we have four pictures. So I just turn this one and arrange it so it will look lovely. I think I will take this one as the main reference and I use this one uh, for some petals like the middle of this flower. Here I will take this curve and here I will take this small little bud. And now let's combine everything. So we are looking at our references and first draw the stem with this nice little curve. Here will be our rose and with some lovely bud here and here. So I combine two big references for now, taking uh, from both shapes, leaves, combine them, and now I'm uh, getting to our bud references. So um, I will remove this line. I like the middle in one of the references. It looks round like this, and. I'm looking at the shapes of the petals. Uh, no need to uh, try to make them exact. You just need to get the flow. Done. Easy. I remove pencil with the soft eraser. And now to get this nice, warm, white shade, I use Oxid Red, very diluted, with just a hint of ultramarine blue, a little bit more. So we get this brownish color, which 
with small tiny C strokes I put inside. I try to follow our reference with the lines, but mainly I use just C strokes and I make them sometimes thicker. To make them thicker I press on the button of the brush. I try to follow our reference, but not very precise because it's loose painting, it should be relaxing and it should be matching to your, to your style, to your personal style, to your personal pressure on a brush, to your um, way you make brush strokes. So the far we go from the middle to the edges, the thicker and the lighter the petals are. I mainly now I mainly paint just with the water and what what's rest on the uh, on the brush because brush soaks in a lot of um, color and even if we wa wash it, it's something still in there. And that's enough to paint our nice white rose. Um, I want to emphasize the middle of the brush. So I take Van Dyke, this is dark, very dark brown. And right in the middle, it's still wet. I put a few small, tiny little strokes. And I want to make it more crispy and more um, uh, more contrast, I take red oxide, which we use in the very beginning, and I use it in the middle side, in the middle side of our rose, and with water I distribute, drag out the color around, and I add some shades. Remember that uh, the sunlight goes from the top to bottom, which means all the bottom part could be more shady and darker than the top petals. If you follow these simple rules, it will make your drawing, your painting more realistic more interesting, more catchy. Um, right now I would like to add um, leaves. I take sage green, which is very dark green. I, I hope you could see it. It's uh, very dark green, but I also I think it's maybe a little bit too dark, so I add um, brighter green like this and I want to add some leaves here and you see how beautiful it flows it is still wet here and it's almost white but once I added leaves it brings the contrast and it also it helps to identify the shape of the rose. Uh, same is here. I want to um, here will be one of maybe two buds, two buds and maybe one small leaf. To my to paint a rose leaf, I start with the tip of the brush, press on the belly and drag out the color. I want to add some shades here to make more contrast. Our eye loves contrast and reacts positively on contrasts in drawings. So usually all buds, they're a little bit darker than um, when the open bud. Have you noticed that? All buds they are a little bit brighter, they have more in Tense color, so we use a little bit more on our brush. I just combine everything here. I do not um, pay so much attention to the shade. 
I add some random greenery around with the tip of the brush just with the tip of the brush like this now I want to make the stem actually no I still we have a little bit wet part here and I think it would be also nice to add one or more green leaves here uh, if you notice the, these leaves they were not in none of our references but anyway it's more like improvising and sometimes you just look at your painting and think yes this will make the painting more interesting and you just go with the flow that's what i want to say go with the flow now for for the stem i keep mixing our uh, pyrrole green such a green and i with uh, i paint the stem and i paint another um and uh, another stem with closed part i like very much that closed part on the reference i think it's to repeat it and here I would want to add these uh, green leaves uh, they are under the butt so I paint them a little bit darker and I want to add some mm, some extra strokes everywhere I take a little bit of olive green right here into the bar to add some sunshine feeling right here and with the tip of the brush I add all these nice rose leaves around and maybe more more leaves more leaves on this side uh, remember um, sunshine goes from the top to the bottom which means bottom leaves they could be brighter uh, and darker I add some fantasy details to make our drawing um, uh, more vivid to add some uh, movements and now these leaves I do not want um, to paint my much attention to this part because this is our central part and if we start to paint central part very detailed and leaves very detailed our attention will be very much distracted so I just, just make some shapes here not really paying so much attention like this maybe a bit brownish here I want to add a little bit of brown leaves to uh, connect these two colors green uh, green and brown and uh, the nicest way to connect them is just to add here and there then directly one to, to another i think this part a little bit too bright don't you think and i want to remove this i take my paper towel and soak a little bit of uh, the the color take our brownish brownish color and add it here right in the wet part mm, 
Now the last touches I would like to make to make our stem a little bit thicker. But I go along the stem with small, small strokes to make it more vivid. So it's nice to add here and there some bugs. And I want to go back to the middle of the rose. I take Van Dyke and go once again in the very middle of the rose with some C strokes. Just to emphasize, to make the middle more contrast. And I wash the brush and with clean brush I just drag out the color again to make it softer. And here it is our vintage rose. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoy the process. I hope you found my way of working with references interesting and useful and please uh, give me your feedback uh, what else you would like to paint. Tag me on Instagram olga.girl, subscribe my channel and see you next time. Bye bye!